Hi everyone, this is Sajay. In this video, we are going to see how to fly, uh, uh, program a flash memory. And for that, we are going to use uh, TWAS ARM Cortex M4. And uh, uh, flash memory is something like a non-volatile memory which uh, stores actually the code, uh, the program which we write sits in the flash memory. And we can also write, uh, use it for storing some data. Um, and that's what we are going to see. And uh, flash memory here in TN4C is organized in a set of 1KB blocks which can be erased individually. It, uh, it may differ for other microcontrollers here. And um, entire contents of the block is reset to 1 if a block is erased. This we can see when we do the practical part. And uh, TM4C 123G has 26KB of flash memory. And 1KB blocks are padded into a set of 2KB blocks which can be protected individually. And uh, protection here is uh, like uh, the protection allows blocks to be marked as read or executed only. And uh, read only block, uh, blocks cannot be erased or programmed, protecting it from being reprogrammed. And also, it provides protection from accidental erasure of the program. So, execute, uh, execute only blocks also cannot be erased or programmed and can only be read by controller's instruction fetch mechanism. It's like it protects uh, itself from uh, being read by um, um, either a controller or the debugger. So let's get to the uh, code and uh, let's see uh, how this flash memory uh, is. Uh, uh, how how can we view the flash memory and uh, the contents of the flash memory and how can we uh, program our data into that flash memory? Okay. So here we have um, a project called Flash Test and um, in Flash Test, um, like if you have to create this project, you'll have to uh, if, uh, either go to TA website and we have the project uh, procedures to be created or you can watch my video where uh, I've shown you how to install, like how to get CCS and install Tivaware and how to create your first project and um, I, the code which is used, the program which is used here is already available in TA.com uh, but I'm going to show you something um, which will make you much better understand what this uh, flash how a flash memory is and how can we program the data. So here we have certain header files and you can see driver library uh, slash flash dot h the header file for flash is also used flash memory and uh, tivaware uh, provides uh, the driver library for this and uh, we have um, an array uh, of um, uh, uh, size of two. And where each uh, uh, element will have size of uh, 32 bit, and um, we have the system uh, clock configuration. And you can see here, it, uh, here we have system division to be 5, that is, uh, the PL output is divided by 5, that gives you 40 megahertz of clock, which is very good for um, 40 megahertz, and lesser than that is very good for flash me memory. And um, next, we have our GPIO, that is pin 1, 2, 3, that is the LED, which is connected on onboard device uh, launchpad, and then. Um, uh, let's actually comment this uh, these two lines and uh, now what we are going to do is once you have written this code completely what uh, I'm going to do is just um, you can see yeah, you can also follow this uh, build the project and um, after project is built uh, you can get into debug and you can see here your project dot map and here my project name is flash test dot map uh, yours will be a different thing like how uh, the project name, whichever project name you see. And here I click this uh, file, open this file and you can see uh, you have uh, flash origin and uh, the amount used that is uh, up till 8B0. So the length is 8B0 from 0000, 0000, 0000 location. So uh, this is not uploaded, it is just showing the mapping, I am agreeing mapping. And then uh, I am going to close this. Then what we are going to do is uh, click on run, debug and see to that your hardware is connected to your PC, the TWASI launchpad. And then once it is done, you can click on resume button and then click view and memory browser. Here in memory browser, you, uh, you will have, uh, uh, you can uh, type something here. Uh, that's what like uh, we we uh, have seen uh, the length of the memory and uh, like uh, which are shown in the dot map file. So I'm going to type that uh, particular memory location here. That is zero 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 eight b zero. So when we enter this, we can see uh, here as we discussed before. The erase part is reset to one, so you can see everywhere you can. Uh, the erase part consists of FFF completely. So 
here the length uh, the program uh, utilizes uh, uh, memory from 0000000 to uh, 8b0 so above 8b0 you can see uh, we have certain data actually uh, program and this is our program part so what we are going to do is we will again uh, see uh, like we will remove certain lines of course and see if the memory location is um, utilized less or more so uh, I am going to terminate this again and um, what I am going to do is comment these lines completely from this line to this line and um, even here certain head files will be commented so again I am going to build here so build the project after that again click uh, flash underscore test dot map here now you can see the length is 5c8000005c8 so it is from uh, load origin as 0000000005c8 so earlier it was 8b0 so now the length is reduced uh, let's upload the code uh, deep click run debug in view uh, memory browser here we are going to type 5c8 now again you can see fffff means it's all uh, the erased part of the memory location uh, uh, sorry my memory and here uh, above 5c8 you can see uh, the program is actually uh, utilized this particular memory space so what we are going to do is um, uh, it, uh, we have to first find out uh, how much memory is utilized by the program and we have to uh, select a memory location very far from the memory location uh, which is utilized by the program so that it doesn't um, um, affect our um, data or the program so what I'm going to do is uh, again terminate and then uncomment these lines on also these lines now uh, we have uh, two, uh, uh, an array of two elements, uh, array size of two and we have two uh, elements of 32 bit uh, size each and this is the data and uh, here uh, I am selecting a memory location that is here 0x100000 it's like here uh, it was 8c and the maximum length and 5c so we are going a little further away from that so we are selecting uh, 10 or you can select something like 2000 something like that and uh, we should not exceed about 256 so we have only uh, 256 kb limitation here so we can change this also now uh, first we will have to erase the memory location and then we will have to program it uh, so this is going to be a pointer to the data and then um, this is our memory location and the size of the data so next what we are going to do is uncomment these header files also and then again save now build the project again we can look into flash test dot map and now you can see the length is 958 uh, so that is hexadecimal value uh, from 0000000, 000 to 0000 0958 um, now we are going to close this click on run um, uh, debug uh, before that i will uh, say something like here um, after uh, erasing and then programming the data, uh, then uh, uh, LED will be flashed. You can uh, switch on red LED, blue LED, or green LED, or all together to um, indicate uh, with the white LED. Anything is fine. So, what I am going to do is now run, click run debug, and then click on resume. Now Again, uh, we shall click on memory browser, and now we can see that this part above this part we have our code program part, and the program has utilized uh, this much uh, space. And now we have our location memory location uh, that is 200000, and here you can see we have our data written and flash memory that is one one two two three three four four and this here uh, you can see here and then a b c e 
F123. Uh, it is al al always safe to uh, go uh, uh, select a memory location which is uh, very far away from the actual memory uh, which is utilized by the program. So this is how we uh, work with flash memory. So after that you can even access the data. And uh, when we are going to reprogram, uh, be sure to erase this uh, particular low memory location because once you write this code or if you reprogram with another code, the complete flash memory will get erased in uh, 1 KB block size. And then um, um, if you are going to use this uh, same code, you, you see to that uh, the memory location is uh, safe on the safer side to access. So it's better to select a memory location which is far away from that. As earlier said, away, uh, to select, it's better to select the memory location away from the program. So um, this is what I wanted to tell you in this video. You can practice this and I will provide you the um, uh, website, uh, ti.com website and the link uh, where you can find this code or you can also um, use the same code from uh, my uh, video. So we will meet in another video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.